The new Bundesliga season is almost upon us, so I am back with a video that I did in the previous season. I'm rating all the new football shirts for the coming season. Malside, Richie here again. Welcome back. Here on my phone, I have pictures of all the new shirts which the teams of the Esther Bundesliga are going to be wearing in their home games in the coming season. I'm going to be looking at all these in order, how they finished the previous season, and marking them, rating them from one point to a maximum of 10 points. So points out of 10, what my opinions are, looking at the good, the bad, and the in some cases, the really, really ugly. So let's get started then straight away with FC Bayern München, Bayern Munich, their kit. This is going to be very much in keeping with the trend that's um, happening this year. Uh, as you can see, I have my, my new Bochum shirt on. I think this is actually going to be the away shirt, not quite sure. There's a dark blue and a light blue. And there's a definite trend this year towards things that are reminiscent of the 80s. I don't know if you can see that properly, but there's a, a diagonal shadow stripe on there. The kits are very much back to being, most kits are being back to being very simple, very um, plain designs, which I really like. Disclaimer, before we start, my tastes are very simple. I've, I've said this in a previous video, my favorite Bochum shirt that you can buy from the club shop nowadays is just a replica, a retro shirt of the an old 60s shirt. It's very, very simple, very, very plain. My tastes are boring. And as we found out in the last videos that I did, your tastes are not always the same you like more fancy stuff take it with a pinch of salt try not to get your knickers in a twist that goes for you Bielefeld fans too I didn't like your shirt but your football was brilliant last year and deservedly you are now in the Erste Bundesliga list I saw Bochum play away at Bielefeld last season and you absolutely destroyed us that said we're talking about shirts now, and your shirt last season was absolutely bloody awful. Anyway, back to Bayern Munich, and uh, this shirt this is going to be, I'm going to say straight off, this is going to be one of my absolute favourites. I like it because of all, bear in mind all of what I've said about simple shirts, I really, really like it. It's very plain looking, it's a very simple cut, I like the simple colours, just a little bit of an accent here with the, with the white white flash there the sponsor kind of seems to blend in pretty well it's just simple and, and, and white all shirts would look better without a sponsor on to be honest but you know this is okay a very kind of uh, tasteful shadow stripe that 80s feel again very much back to 80s feels here this is reminds me very much of those very first 80s kits that came out with a little bit of a more shiny fabric beforehand they were also kind of rough or sort of a cotton or a a rougher polyester type thing this is great uh, I like pretty much everything about this I'm gonna give this 9 out of 10 the second place team last year was of course Dortmund B for B and after such a good start with the Bayern kit what can I say about this monstrosity I understand I've said this before I understand that every year it's even even more difficult for teams that are playing in the Champions League because they have to the designers have to come up with a home kit, an away kit, a third kit, and a Champions League kit. And sometimes now I think they're even being put under pressure commercially to a, a, a design a fifth kit, which is just for the cup for the DFB pool card. So you know they've got to come up with new ideas every year. It's going to be difficult. How many? How many times can you reinvent a plain yellow shirt? Uh, the positives about this is that the the cut of the, the Puma kit, I like the shape of Puma kits normally, looks pretty good, the simple shape of it, but what's that? It's a zebra on acid, it's a lightning strike, I don't know what it is, it's absolutely bloody horrendous, 3 out of 10. And moving on swiftly then to the next team in the league, which was, of course, Borussia Mönchengladbach. And they have got something more in keeping with the Bayern shirt. It's very much that... Well, it's, just, it's a Puma kit. Again, simple, nice cut. I like the way that this, the sleeves are tailored and stuff like that. Although they usually tend to be a bit more close-fitting. It's plain. It's one colour, but the shadow stripes theme is there. The 80s shadow stripes theme is there. It's a bit too fancy, a bit too busy for me. This this diagonal, these zigzaggy lines, these chevrons type thing. It's a 
bit over the top, but otherwise it's a great kit. I'd go and give this one, I'm going to be fair and give it 7 out of 10. Behind Gladbach, after a really, really good season for them, it was, of course, Freiburg. SC Freiburg. And I'm a little bit disappointed with this kit. I associate Freiburg with that iconic AC Milan type kit, red and black stripes. Um, I'm... I think it's a bit of a shame that they've abandoned the stripes, but as I say, you've got to think of something new every year to sell shirts and rip off the kids. These things are always overpriced, aren't they, as well? It's all right in itself. The design's reasonably good. I'm not too keen on the sort of the shadow effect with the the club crest in there, speckled all over. There's a bit too much going on. The sponsor doesn't really work for me. Um, Schwarzwald Milch. Uh, too many colours that are not on the shirt. Quite like the white sleeve type sort of thing. A bit like Arsenal, isn't it? Um, it's okay. I'm going to give it 6 out of 10. It's all right. It was, of course, Frankfurt. Eintracht Frankfurt, who finished directly behind Freiburg. 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 Freiburg in the league. And they've also normally got that nice kit, that red and black AC Milan type thing, and but this thing, that, what they've come up with this year is absolutely horrendous. It's almost as bad as the Dortmund kit. It's got a nice base, it's the Nike, very plain looking kit, but those stripes, I really, I don't know, I get a headache from, from stripes that are all different sizes, the thin black stripe and then the thick red stripe and that horrible shadowy design. It looks like a, I don't know, it probably has some kind of meaning, it's probably, I don't know, Frankfurt skyline or some e something equally stupid. Um, it looks like a, a printed electronic circuit board, some circuitry from a PC or something. It's horrendous. Four out of ten. We're moving on now to the capital of Germany and Hertha Berlin. This kit is growing on me, I have to say. I really, really like the base basis for this kit, which is a nice round, simple collar. The trim on the arms, the, decent, the very sort of tasteful trim on the collar matches the, uh, sorry, the cuffs the, on the sleeves. It matches the collar. I do generally like um, Nike kits. They are well designed. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing the Bochum one. The only thing that troubled me about this one is the collar is a bit weird. With a bit more of a normal collar on this one, this would have been nice. But anyway, we're talking about Hertha Berlin and not Bochum. Um, the thing that bothers me a little bit, I mean, is that it's got that thin black stripe in there. Take out that black stripe, or maybe even add another stripe on the other side of the blue stripes, make it symmetri symmetrical, make it look a little bit less like a barcode, and I would be giving this 9 or 10 out of 10. But as it stands, distracts me a little bit, that extra line. There's no sponsor on the picture I've got. That's interesting. Probably not uh, negotiated with the sponsor yet. It makes it all the better to, for me, to be honest. Take sponsors off. Um, I'm going to be giving this an 8. 8 out of 10. Still a very nice shirt. Their neighbours from just across the city, Union Berlin, finished just behind them, of course. Their new kit um, features, you know, the, all the colours of their crest. Red, white and gold. It's okay. I don't really like this seam here, this ex this idea that the whole front is a separate panel. The collar reminds me of this Bochum collar, which is the only thing, as I say, it's the only thing that really bothers me about this kit. A bit thick and a bit, I don't like the way it abruptly uh, ends here. I like three stripes, the Adidas three stripes on, on a football kit. That looks pretty cool. Uh, but all in all, it's an average kit really, isn't it? It's six, it's okay. Six and a half, I'm going to be fair, six and a half out of ten. Finishing in 12th place last year, we have our local rivals Schalke, and they had a terrible season last year. Um, didn't find that amusing at all, how they finished the season. Hoping they're going to have a successful campaign this year. Uh, this kit is actually really good. I really like this kit. As much as it pains me to say it, I think it's pretty good. Umbro, I think that's a British uh, brand name, in fact. They usually come up with uh, decent stuff. Um, it would be very much a 9 out of 10 kit if the collar was a bit better. It's kind of not complete. It hits, gets to here and stops abruptly. But other than that, it's very iconic. It's solid colours. It's their Königsblau, Royal Blue. Um, all one colour. I'm going to give it, I'm going to be fair, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. 
Behind Schalke it was Mainz of course, FSV Mainz 05 and this is a monstrosity, this new kit is horrible, absolutely horrible, it looks like somebody was trying to design a new Croatia kit but took too much LSD and tried to just put in far too much, what are all these horrible chevrons here, it kind of mirrors the sleeves but it looks completely too busy, too much going on, the collar's weird, it's thin at the front, thick at the back. Sorry mine's 5 out of 10 and I'm being very generous, this is a horrible. The new home kit for FC Köln for Cologne this year I think is really nice, they've done something a little bit different, they're just two stripes in the middle, I think that's quite bold but it's still a rather simple design, I really like this one, not much to really complain about, I'm going to give that seven and a half out of ten if you're looking for a really really cool kit I think their third kit this year it's got like um, red uh, green and gold yellow it's um, very reminiscent of some of the Western African nations the national teams of the Western African nations um, check out that one I think that one's really great but this seven out of ten seven out and a half out of ten I think I said yeah moving on to Augsburg and this one's a little bit different it's got like a polo polo shirt collar um, none of the other teams seem to have gone for that this, I can see how this would work as sort of like a casual thing to wear with a pair of jeans or whatever. Um, I love the fact that it's completely white, it's really plain, there's no real fancy designs on there, no panels, no stripes, no nothing. Apart from of course the, the shadow uh, stripe design, that's a little bit busy, but it's okay. I'd, I'd like to see it in the flesh. I'm going to give that, I gave Cologne 7.5, I think it's... Yeah, about the same as Cologne, seven and a half. It's all right. And now we're down to the relegation playoff place. Werder Bremen still in the Erste Bundesliga after scraping through in the relegation playoff. Their kit is mm, a bit nasty, really. It's another Umbro one, and it's not too far away from the Schalke one, apart from they've gone really over the top with the shadow design. It's got really a really fancy pattern in there that I don't really understand, I don't see the point of that. This extra panel here under this, under the armpit of white, flash of white, doesn't work for me. <sighs> leave that leave that shadow pattern out though and it's a lot, lot better. We're, it's the difference between 7 out of 10 and what I'm going to give it now which is 5 out of 10. About as good as their season was last year. All we have left now is, of course, the two new teams that got promoted, Bielefeld and Stuttgart. Bielefeld first, and I know, I'm sorry, Bielefeld fans, I gave your shirt last year a really hard time, but it was horrible. People were moaning that I didn't know the history of it. I should uh, be better informed when talking about kits. No, I don't have to know anything about Bielefeld. I don't even know if Bielefeld really exists. All I'm doing here is assessing, rating kits on their appearance and last year's kit was awful this one is really great just as good as your season was last year credit where credit's due i really love kits which have what we call a sash in uh, english in fact this is a very funny story actually when i was studying out here when i came over as a student to germany years and years ago i actually lived in a studentenwohnheim and a student residence which was run by what is called a Burschenschaft. Uh, the Germans will know what a Burschenschaft is. It's uh, something akin to a fraternity in the U USA. It's a student uh, organization, um, but they have kind of weird nationalist tendencies m most of the time. It's a weird old tradition. And this one was called uh, Burschenschaft Armenia. It had the same name as Armenia Bielefeld and also the same colors. And they would dress up for their meetings and their rituals and stuff in strange military stuff they all had a military cap and they would all also wear a sash in the uh, Armenia Bielefeld colours Armenia because of Armenia not because of Bielefeld uh, so this kind of reminds me of that but that said it's still great I love the sash if this sash had actually been over the shoulder and down to the waist rather than from under the armpit I would have found it a little bit better and that would have been a difference between eight points and nine and that in this case I'm going to give it 8 out of 10 and good luck for your season next season. Final kit then is the Stuttgart kit. It's another one that's got those 80s shadow stripes and very much like the Balkan kit. These are diagonal. Fine, I find that 
pretty okay. There's a bit too much going on with the extra red line here for me and the dots, and I think that's part of the Yako uh, brand name that makes that uh, look like that. But it's pretty simple. I like this. I like this panel across here, the red panel, red stripe across the chest. I think that works really well for a Stuttgart. I'm going to give this six and a half out of ten. So where did that leave us then? Well, as I predicted right at the beginning, I think my favourite of all of them was actually Bayern Munich, and I think that's probably going to mirror the actual football table at the end of the table. Uh, end of the year, we're going to have Bayern in first place. Worthy of a mention that also got eight points was uh, Schalke, of course. Schalke, don't think you're going to be finishing second this year in the table in football. Uh, Hertha Berlin, second place, joint second place. Bielefeld also another eight pointer. So there we've got a top four. I think uh, that was it. They were my favourites. The absolute worst one for me was probably B4B and Mainz. Um, so is that going to be our relegation spot? I don't think so. But uh, B4B are probably going to have a lot better season uh, than finishing second bottom. Anyway, what did you think? Did you agree with me? Were your favourites the same as mine? Or did you hate my selection? And which are the ones that you really, really can't stand? Which are the best? Which are the worst? Rate them all down below. Give me your points out of 10 if you want. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, please remember, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel also for more content. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Macht's gut, Leute!